Welcome back to Life Beyond Locks. Today we're looking at a brand new style from John Renault's brand new launch of heat defiant pieces. This one is Holly. She's a mid-length bob. She's wavy. She has trending bangs and she has a fully hand tied cap. Now I haven't tried this piece on. I was saving to look at it with you and I'm so happy that I did because I like a genuine reaction, more authentic. So we're going to take a look at this beautiful piece. I did look at her. I just haven't put her on yet. Um, and so far, I just think that she is so beautiful. You can see there, she's got some nice waves that are not too tight. But of course, because it is heat friendly, you can tighten those waves if you want, or you could straighten it out completely as well. So just to note about this new collection, um, first of all, these fibers are heat defiant. And so that means they have a thinner denier. They um, are going to feel softer, more like human hair, more realistic, but they're also more prone to frizzing and tangling at the end. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time talking about maintenance. Now, I'm not doing a lot to her, and if you wanna see me curl her, you can hop on over to my Instagram page where I am gonna show a quick video of me curling this piece. But over time, I do want you to know that she's going to require heat in order to stay looking good. So if you are someone who is new to that, don't worry. John Renault has a full line of products that can help you out with this, but you definitely are gonna to wanna to get your hands on their HD detangler to make sure that you are combing through and keeping her looking her best. Okay, so let's get into the specs and then I'll put her on. Now I did have to write them down because this is all new. It's a, it's a completely new piece to me. Um, so she has a 4.25 inch front bang from the crown. She's 11.5 to 12. The sides are eight inches and the nape is 2.75 inches. So that's here to here. You can see the inside of the cap. So she has a lace front to a monofilament top, which is really beautiful. You've got an extended lace front here. So you're gonna have a really great front hairline. And I love the John Renault Smart Lace hairline. I just think they look so good. Um, you've got, of course, your velvet ear tabs with metal adjusters in there. And then on the inside of the cap, we have a hand tied cap. So this is going to provide such a luxurious experience if you haven't worn hand tie before. It's really soft, it's very comfortable, um, and generally it fits a little bit looser. Now I have a small circumference. If you've been around with me for a bit, you know that I have 21.25 inch circumference. I'm 11 ear to ear, 12 front to back. Um, and pieces tend to run bigger on me, but of course we have the adjuster tabs here. So, and with the weight grip, I know I'm going to be absolutely fine. So let's put this piece on. I'm really excited to look at it together. And of course we know right off the bat that she's going to be needing a couple of adjustments. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna tighten those adjuster tabs because I just know that I'm gonna to have to do it with my petite head. Oh my goodness, maybe I don't need to tighten her as much as I thought I did. No, we're good, okay. Make sure she's in place. I think I might have had her a little bit too far back, hey? What do you think? I'm looking, I need a mirror on my ring light because oh, my own hair is poking through, I think. Yeah, that is my own hair. <laughs> um, because I can't see very well into my camera. So first look at her, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's so fun. I love this short style. Well, it's not short, I guess, it's a mid-length, but it's, Shorter than my last piece from John Renault, which was Heidi. Um, okay, so we haven't even broken up the part. So let's break up that middle part to start. But of course, you saw that it has a really large monofilament parting area. So that means that I can part it in the middle the way that they currently have her, right? And get a realistic scalp. But I can also part her over on the right side if I want, or the left side. If I want lots of flexibility there in terms of where I part her. I'm also gonna go ahead and pull out some bio hair right away actually while I think about it. So if you're like me 
and you have slightly darker bio hair and you really want to blend this area, one little tip, and I'm not going to do it right now, um, but I have shown it in other videos and I will eventually do it to this piece, is just to take some shadow and just really match up the lace color to the hair color and you will have a completely seamless front hairline. And then also here, I feel like the lace is maybe a little bit longer than I would go, so I would trim it back. I intend to trim it back a little bit just so that it's even tighter to that hairline. So this is heat friendly, as I said, which means that you can apply heat even if you wanna change the part, you can do that by applying heat. So John Renault recommends that you actually start at 270 and go no more than 350, but start low and work your way up and that you use their thermal setting spray. So that's this one here, it's a number three bottle. It says heat, heat treat thermal spray on it. So you're gonna to wanna to use this product before applying heat, let it dry and then work the hair. And then the detangler that you're gonna to wanna to use is also a number three and it says maintain HD smooth. You're gonna to wanna to use this detangler on a regular, <laughs> a regular basis to make sure that you are um, keeping the frizzies at bay and really maintaining those fibers. Now you could see how easily I was able to remove the zigzag part. It just happened so seamlessly, but because this is heat friendly, just like with a regular synthetic piece, if you don't want to apply heat right away, you can just warm your hands and then move the hair into the position that you want. And I think that's the really cool thing about this style is that these bangs, I feel like they have some flexibility. So you could, if you wanted to have a fringe, you could just move them to the front. Now I have a short forehead because I'm a shorter person. So I would need to cut mine and you could take them to your local stylist and have them actually cut the fringe to length for you. Or maybe, eh, maybe it would be fine for you from the get go, or you can keep them as that curtain bang, which is very trending. I see it all over Instagram right now on all the um, hairstylist pages where they have them kind of going like this right from the front. So you can do that. Or if you want, you can blow dry them back and to the side so then you end up having a more invisible kind of bang. Because they're long enough, they can almost be tuckable too, as you can see here. Okay, this color is really pretty. It is new for me. It's FS17 slash 10, I believe, um, with S18 in it. So we've got a bit of a rooting here, which is excellent if you have dark eyebrows like I have, but then lots of beautiful, gorgeous highlights. Okay, I'm gonna turn around, as you can see it from all angles. So I think this style is going to be really ideal with the winter months coming up ahead. Uh, so the launch time of this is good. I mean, it's also really good for the summer because it's not super long, but I live in Canada, we get really cold winters and really hot summers where I live. So hot, humid summer time means I want something that's light and airy and the hand tied cap is very much light and airy. By the way, I'm going all over the place and I tend to do that with my YouTube videos. My Instagram seems to be very polished and I say what I wanna say and I know what I'm gonna say before I hit record and I kind of meander in these YouTube videos. So I hope that's okay with you, but as things come up, I wanna mention them. So I told you it was a hand-tied cap, and in the past, my experience with hand-tied caps is that they tend to be larger on me. I will tell you, I cinched those adjuster tabs right in, and I do not, there's extra room, but it's not excessive. Now, there's lots of room to stretch in a hand-tied cap, so if you're worried about this fitting, I think you're going to be okay with this one, but definitely note that, you know, for me, this is a really comfortable fit. It fits me nice and snugly um, compared to some hand tied pieces that I've had in the past. Okay, going back to climate. So where I live, it definitely gets cold, it gets dry. And so we wear a lot of sweaters, a lot of hoodies, a lot of scarves, a lot of high collars. So having a piece like this, which does not go down very far in the back, nor does it have a ton of bulk, is going to be ideal because I did tell you that heat friendly fibers have a tendency to frizz up. So this is actually, you're not gonna have to contend with a whole lot of frizzing because it's not super duper long. It's just sort of grazing 
the, the shoulders, which is perfect for me. Now, if you're shorter than me, it's gonna go longer, but watching, you're probably taller than me. I stand at just under five foot three, so it would be even shorter on you probably if you're a little bit shorter than I am. Okay, as I wear her tucked behind the ear, I feel like this is the way that I want to wear her, but I did promise uh, John Renault that I would heat style her as well for the women who want to see her heat styled. So I guess I'm going to be making some changes to her, but I honestly just love her so much right now as she is amazing. So how are you going to heat style her? Well, I brought with me my trusty old curling iron. So this is what I'm actually going to use when I heat style her because I decided that if anything that I'm gonna add, maybe just the, the waves at the back I felt were a little bit loose. So I'm gonna tighten up the waves a little bit. And the way that I'm gonna do that, I'll show you now without actually having the heat on, is I'm going to go in and do the wave, mimicking the pattern that's already there, but leaving these ends exposed. By leaving the ends exposed, I'm gonna maintain the same kind of style because this piece has not gotten been given a tight curl at the end. So we're gonna kind of leave it with that more blunt end, which this style clearly has and is meant to have, but wave throughout. Okay. So I was also just thinking about other ways that you could heat style her, because as I said, you are going to need to apply heat to her at some point um, in order to maintain, especially those ends. And it is recommended that when she requires heat styling, that you only heat style where it's necessary. So don't heat style from top to bottom unless you want to change the style. You're gonna wanna just heat style the ends if the ends are frizzing, unless you actually want to change the style. So when it comes to changing the style, um, I told you that I would curl. I'm gonna follow the curl pattern that John Renault put in here. Uh, their stylists planned and designed all of this out and I'm gonna to wanna to maintain as similar a pattern as they have created for me, but know that actually a really fun point that they brought up at their last meeting was that they're actually going to release content to show you how to style your pieces so that they look like the pieces that you got from the beginning. But of course, I recommend if you want something that looks identical from how you had at the beginning, buy two pieces. So then you can have one to start and then you can have one that you can kind of um, reference the next time that you go to heat style that first one to make it look like the original. But one thing that I was going to say, so these heat friendly fibers, they need heat in order to change the style, just like our biological hair. And there's lots of different tutorials online for styling. So it's the th same thing as human hair. You're gonna watch, watch those tutorials and know uh, what you're going for, what look you're trying to achieve before heat styling. But one thing that you need to know is that once I take this curl away from the heat, it's going to maintain whatever shape it has as it cools. So if I have heat applied and then I drop it, the curl is not likely to stay in the style. So I'm gonna have to, I can pin curl or I can hold it and then blast it with cold air, but you're gonna wanna wait for it to cool a little bit before you run your fingers through it, before you run your John Renault wide comb, which comes with your piece, by the way, through it in order to make sure that you are maintaining that style. So you can use a heat tool like this. You can use your flat iron if you want. Um, that creates, I find even more of like a jagged, for me anyways, the shape of my heat heat flat iron of a, a wave. You can use a heated round brush. Those are really great as well. Or you can use a hot comb, which I recommend just for the ends. Just make sure you follow John Renault's guidelines so that you don't end up ruining your beautiful new piece, especially one that is as lovely and luxurious as Holly. I <laughs> am so excited about this piece. I don't, I can't stop smiling, I feel like, because we were seeing the previews of these in a meeting, but I didn't know which one I was getting yet. And so when I opened the box and I saw that I had Holly, I was kind of thrilled. And she is definitely living up to what I hoped she would. So let me know what you think of Holly. Do you like the color? Would you go for the hand tied cap? Or do you think that it's better to save on, because um, it's obviously gonna come in at a higher price point. Do you think it's safer to go with the wefts and save money? Do you like her with the bangs tucked behind my ears? Do you prefer her with the bangs out? Or would you wear her with the bangs a little bit more in front? Let me know how you would like to see her styled. And after I apply some heat to her and film that content that I promised over on Instagram, I can maybe revisit and show you what we've done with her over here on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to see you for the next video. And if you've made it to the end, thank you. Take care.